In economics, float is duplicate money present in the banking system during the time between a deposit being made in the recipient's account and the money being deducted from the sender's account. It can be used as investable asset, but makes up the smallest part of the money supply. Float affects the amount of currency available to trade and countries can manipulate the worth of their currency by restricting or expanding the amount of float available to trade. Definition Float is money in the banking system that is counted twice, for a brief time, because of delays in processing checks, as defined by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. It is most obvious in the time delay between a check being written and the funds to cover the check being deducted from the payer's account. Once the payee or recipient of a check deposits it in a bank account, the bank provisionally credits the account credits and thus increases the payee's account in demand deposit, assuming that the payer's bank will ultimately send the funds to cover the check. Until the payer's bank actually sends the funds, both payer and payee have the same money in both of their accounts. Once the payee's bank notifies the payer's bank by presenting the checks, the duplicate funds will be removed from the payer's account and the checks will be considered to have cleared the bank. In check clearing, banks refer to bank float and customer float. Bank float is the time it takes to clear the item from the time it was deposited to the time the funds were credited to the depositing bank. Customer float is defined as the span from the time of the deposit to the time the funds are released for use by the depositor. The difference between the bank float and the customer float is called negative float. Causes Anything that delays clearing a check can cause a float. Float is subject to random fluctuations. Before electronic check clearing, bad weather or communication problems caused float to increase, so it had clear seasonal trends. In December and January, increased check volume of the holiday season increases the so-called holdover float. A backlog of checks from the weekend causes float to be high on Tuesdays, therefore causing a weekly trend. Effect, float marginally inflates the money supply. Countries can manipulate the worth of their currency by restricting or expanding the amount of float available to trade. The float time of checks can be used to defraud, by misusing it as a form of unauthorized credit, commonly known as check kitting. Use, in the 1970s and 1980s high inflation and high interest rates encouraged large companies to draw funds from remote banks to benefit from transportation float which was called remote disbursement. In 1973, the daily float average was $2.7 billion, and between 1975 and 1979, float more than tripled to a daily average of $6.6 .6 billion. Float is used by commercial banks as the overnight investable funds. In order to smooth fluctuations in the aggregate level of bank reserves, Federal Reserve banks use their open market operation to buy and sell government securities daily. Countries can restrict or expand the amount of float available to trade a currency. Countermeasures as part of the Monetary Control Act of 1980 the Federal Reserve System charged banks for float, which improved check processing efficiency. To reduce transportation float, banks have been able to scan their checks since the 1990s, and present them electronically at the Federal Reserve. With increasing electronic funds transfer, float averaged only $774 million per day in 2000. Electronic checks and particularly the check clearing for the 21st Century Act in the United States, or Check 21 as it is more commonly called, have been designed to target check kitting. See also, Federal Reserve Banking. References